So now let me discuss the pharmacology of the drugs which are used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Now first let me give you a basic introduction of what exactly you mean by rheumatoid arthritis. So if you take this rheumatoid arthritis, let me tell you a very important point. This is one of the autoimmune disease. Alright, it is an autoimmune disease. Now, what do you mean by the word autoimmune disease? The word autoimmune disease or uh, the autoimmune uh, mechanism tells you that the antibodies are being formed against our own organs. So that type of disease is your rheumatoid arthritis. So it is an autoimmune disease and the another important point is even though it tells you the word rheumatoid arthritis but let me tell you it does not affect only the joints right it does not affect only the joints. Remember, in almost 40% of individuals, right, 40% of patients, they will also have extra articular manifestations. They will also have extra articular manifestations. And another important point is that your rheumatoid arthritis is a multi system disease, right? It is a multi system disease. What does that mean? So this means that in case of rheumatoid arthritis, remember not only the joints which are affected along with the joints, even the extra articular system is also being affected. That is what you have to remember. Now, now as I tell you that it is an autoimmune disease, what you have to remember that the antibodies, they are formed against the own organs in the sense the antibodies are formed against the self all right now so the another important point what you should remember here is you take these particular antibodies antibodies like we have various types of antibodies we have igg igm iga igd and ige antibodies so these are all the various types of antibodies and remember the type of antibodies what you get in case of rheumatoid arthritis is IgM autoantibodies, right? The type of autoantibodies is IgM autoantibodies. Now, now another important point what you should remember is like where are these antibodies produced from? So if you see these particular antibodies, remember the antibodies they are being produced from the plasma cells. Now where are these particular plasma cells produced from or the plasma cells generated from? Remember this particular plasma cells they are generated from the B lymphocytes. Alright. So so like the B lymphocytes they produce or they generate the plasma cells. And from this particular plasma cells, the various antibodies are being produced. Now, so what I want to tell you from this particular point is, like in case of rheumatoid arthritis, the important cells which play a role in the development of rheumatoid arthritis is your B lymphocytes. So whatever the drugs which we give, we have to see that the activity of the B lymphocytes should be reduced in these patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. Now, what exactly is the basic problem in these patients with the rheumatoid arthritis? You see here, now arthritis, itis means what? Itis means inflammation, right? Itis means inflammation. Now, what will be the signs of inflammation? We have rubber, that is redness. Then we have calor, that is increase in the temperature. And then we have dollar, that is pain. And then we have tumor, that is swelling of that particular inflamed area. So these all signs will be there in the inflamed joint. So the very important thing what the patient is concerned is about the pain. Right? The patient what he is very much concerned about is the pain in these patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. Now in order to reduce the pain like I tell you what are the group of drugs what we have to give. So we require a group of drugs to reduce the pain in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis that is one important point and the second important point what you should remember is 
Now, what is the basic pathophysiological mechanism? The basic pathophysiological mechanism is the autoimmune mechanism. Right? The basic pathophysiological mechanism is autoimmune mechanism. So, what you have to do is you have to use a group of drugs which will suppress the autoimmune activity in the disease or you have to use a group of drugs which will reduce the activity of the B lymphocytes. Alright, which will reduce the activity of the B lymphocytes. Alright, now, so for reducing the pain, what we use is mainly the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Right, for reducing the pain, what we use is mainly the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, to reduce that inflammation, right, to reduce the inflammation in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, for acute phase, what we give is the other group of drugs that is corticosteroids right that is corticosteroids so remember the point now NSAIDs they are used to provide symptomatic relief right they provide symptomatic relief but they do not have any effect on the progression of the disease this is a very important point what you should remember right NSAIDs what they do they will only reduce the pain right but no effect right no effect on progression of the disease right no effect on the progression of the disease so this is a very very important point what you should remember next now what are exactly the group of drugs what we use in these patients with the rheumatoid arthritis even you take corticosteroids the corticosteroids also they are useful for only the acute phase they don't prevent the progression of the disease they don't prevent the progression of the disease now the group of drugs what we use in these patients they are called as DMARDS that is called DMARDS now you take this DMARDS what does this DMARDS tells you these are nothing but disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs all right these are these are disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs so let me tell you one important point here this disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs they are the one which will suppress or which will slow the progression of the disease all right so these dmats they will slow the progression of the disease this is a very very important point what you should remember now so you see here because disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs these are the drugs which will suppress the progression of the disease these are considered as the drug of choice in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis all right these are considered as drug of choice in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis but the only problem with these particular drugs is the effect of these drugs they don't begin immediately right the effect of these drugs they don't begin immediately you take NSAIDs and you take corticosteroids the effect of these particular drugs they start immediately and suppress or reduce the pain of the individual but the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs remember they take nearly six weeks to six months to stop the progression of the disease all right so these DMARDs they take nearly around six weeks to six months to start their effect right this is a very important point so that is the reason why when a patient is coming to you with the severe pain of the joint if you give disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs at that particular acute phase they will not have any effect so what we do is in the acute phase we give the analgesics that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and as well as corticosteroids and this particular corticosteroids mainly they are useful as the bridge therapy right remember these are useful as mainly the bridge therapy right so until the effect of the disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs have started 
the corticosteroids will be taking care of the inflammation in the joint of the patient. Once the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs start their effect, then you have to taper these corticosteroids and then you stop the corticosteroids slowly. So that is how the management in a patient with the rheumatoid arthritis will be.